Hey guys, I'm Game and make back to a new video. So I'm here back in our Roblox studio, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own horror game part 2. So let's get into the video. So if you saw part 1 first, then you should have these scripts and remote events and anything like that. So what we're going to be doing is carrying it on from there. So in my story, we have it so you need to find the office. But to find the office, we need to make a trigger. So if we make a new folder in the workspace, click workspace, make a folder, then name this to triggers. Then inside of that, we can click it, add in another folder, and name it to dialogue, triggers. So if we go over to here, which is where the office is, I'm going to be adding a part, like here. So when the player touches this trigger, then more dialogue will start playing like this. Make sure it's anchored. Make sure can collide is off. And also make sure transparency is set to one like this. Now once we have our part, we can go to name and name this to found office trigger. You can name yours to whatever you want, depending on what trigger it is. So once we have this, we can just drag that inside the dialogue trigger folder like that. So before we actually make more dialogue, what we need to do is click the trigger, click plus, add in a script. And what we're going to be doing is making it so when you touch the trigger, then it actually destroys the trigger. Because in the main game script, we're going to see if the trigger's been touched by destroying it. So if you remove print hello world and type in script dot parent dot touched colon connect two brackets function and then hit if we go down and it enter the period bracket then we can type in if hit and hit dot parent colon find first child two brackets and speak marks and then humanoid with a capital h then so what this line does it checks if the player touches it and if we do and make sure we have a humanoid then script dot parent colon destroy two brackets so then if they have a humanoid so it is a player and we touch it then the part will destroy and then we can close this script off once we have that we can head back inside the main game script which is in server script service so open it up and you should see something similar to this so we made this in part one so if you go down underneath this find the office or whatever objective you have we could do repeat wait two brackets then until game dot workspace dot triggers dot dialogue trigger find first child two brackets and speech marks then found office trigger then outside of brackets we do equals equals to nil so what this does it repeats waiting until the trigger has been destroyed which is equals equals to nil then if we go down from that and then we can do toggle dialogue event so what i'm going to be doing is making sure the dialogue appears again so we can do some more talking so toggle dialogue event fire all clients two brackets and then true once again i'll add in a note then we'll do the same to the objective so toggle objective event fire all clients then two brackets and false once again i'll add in a quick note so i'm going to be making the dialogue so dialogue event colon fire all clients two brackets speech marks and then the dialogue will go here so i'm going to be saying the door is locked i need to find the key which is what we're going to be doing next then after four seconds let's make that disappear so once again we can just duplicate these lines but then instead of making them true we'll make this to false change this to invisible 
And then on the objective, we'll make that to true. And then toggle the objective to visible. Then once again, I'll just set the objective event fire on clients two brackets and speech marks and then find the office key like that so if we click play to make sure it actually works so I need to find the office once again the objective should appear find the office once we walk over to the trigger so if we touch trigger there you can see the door is locked I need to find the key then after four seconds, find your office key, and that's it so far. So click stop. So the door isn't actually locked yet because we don't actually have a door. So let's quickly make one of those. I'll need to move the um, trigger for a minute. So I might just skip ahead until I built a quick door, then show you how to script it in a minute. Okay, so I've quickly built this office door. What it is, is a model. Inside of it is a union for the door and the handle. Then this is just a few parts grouped together, made the frame. So now we need to actually script this door to work. Before we do that, we need to duplicate the door part. Then make sure transparency is set to 1. Then also make sure can collide is off, like that. Now what we need to do is name this to closed position. Then we can do the same. So if we duplicate the close position, from this time we're going to rotate it for when it's open. Once again, also make sure can collide is off and transparency is set to one. And then this time we'll name this to open position, like that. So now what we need to do is make a key to actually open it. So if we get a key model, like this then if you see a window i don't know if you can see it on the um, recording but it should be a window saying insert tool just click no okay so if you just open it make sure it has no scripts in it okay so it should just be a mesh a handle and a key or sometimes it don't need a mesh but usually it does so then if you just drag this key to where we want it to be like this and then if we just rename this key to office key like that but then now what we need to do is make a new folder so click workspace click plus and add in a folder then name this folder to tools like that and then just drag the office key inside of that if you just open up the office key model and click the handle then click plus and add in a click detector once again, click the handle, click plus, and add in a script. Inside of that script, we can type in local tool equals to script dot parent dot parent, like that. Go down twice and then type in local function. Then click two brackets and then player. Go down and then a new end should appear. Now we can type in is tool dot parent equals to game dot workspace square brackets and then player dot name like that. Then underneath this end we could go down twice and type in script dot parent dot click detector dot mouse click colon connect then two brackets. Then in between the brackets, we can type in click, which is this function here. And then if we close that off. So if we go back to the office door, which is over here, and click the door part. If we click plus, add in a script. And then if we type in local door equals to script dot parent, go down and type in local tween service equals to game colon get service two brackets speech marks and then tween service if you go down then type in local info 
equals to tween info dot new then two brackets then we can type in 0 0.5 comma then enum dot easing style dot linear comma enum dot easing direction dot out comma zero comma false comma zero go down twice and now we can type in is local door open position equals to script dot parent dot parent dot open position then go down and type in local door close position equals to script dot parent dot parent dot closed position like that go down and now we can type in is local door open tween equals to tween service colon create two brackets and then door comma info comma pointy brackets and then c frame equals to door open position dot c frame like that if you go down and do the same for closed one so local door close tween equals to tween service colon create two brackets then door comma info pointy brackets c frame equals to door close position dot c frame then go down twice and now we can type in script dot parent dot touched colon connect two brackets function then hit now if type in if hit and hit dot parent dot name equals equals to office key then go down then what we need to do is door open tween colon play then two brackets i've actually just realized we don't even need all this closed position anyway but we could just keep it there in case we want to close the door later then underneath this door open tween play we could go down and type in hit dot parent colon destroy and then two brackets like that then if you close it off and click play once we walk over to it and touch the trigger then the door is locked which we can't open so then find the key once again we can't click it or walk into it so if we find the key which is over here and if we click it then we get inside of our inventory then walk into the door holding the key and then you can see that the door opens like that okay guys that's going to be it for today's video if this video helped make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe down below in the description you can check out my robot screw pan discord server and i'll see you later bye